Blueberry. Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Final in Nederland, Texas. Today is Craftsmas episode 10, so we have a fun one for you. I'm going to show you how to decorate the inside of a lampshade or a lamp. This is a glass lamp from Ikea. It was $19.99. I do not know the name of it, but I really like this lamp. It's like a baby pink. And we're going to be taking and using our Oracle 651 in black. We're going to place the image on the inside so it casts a shadow. So you'll need your Oracle 651 black, your transfer tape. The design I'm using is just a cross design, this one right here. And it came from Love SVG. There was like a prayer file and I just took and deleted everything except for the cross because I wanted a pretty cross for the inside but something that wasn't too intricate you'll also need your easy weed and wooden pick paper towels scissors denatured alcohol squeegee and that's it so if you'll give me a moment we'll get the camera angle changed so you can see everything that we are doing Okay, so as you can see, I have this lamp from Ikea. It was in 20 bucks. I don't remember what it was called. I bought it about a year ago. So I know that they still carry lamps like this, but I don't know if they carry it in the same color, which this is just a blush pink shade. Now what I did is I went ahead and sprayed denatured alcohol on the side of the glass where I'm putting this because I'm actually going to install the vinyl on the inside and I'm going to try to keep it up so you can see it really well as I'm installing it but I won't promise that it'll be straight going at it from that angle so again as I said the cross is from Love SVG um, it was on one of their prayer SVGs and I just deleted the rest of it and chose to use the cross only and I'm reusing a piece of transfer tape so I just squeegeeing it down on there well so okay. that's pretty close to center Again, I'm looking at it from a weird angle, so don't fault me if it's not. So I just squeegeed that down. We can go ahead and ah, squeegee that down a little bit more. Again, it's hard to do whenever you're the, on the inside of this. Okay. So there we go. And it gives that nice frosted appearance to it where it doesn't stand out like it's obviously black vinyl on here. And the cool thing about it, whenever you have it turned on and there's not a whole lot of other lights going, it will cast the shadow of the cross on your wall. I've done this with a Peter Pan before on a regular lampshade, so just something different. What I'm doing is going and pushing that vinyl down because anywhere where it looks light gray is where it's not adhered perfectly. So there we go. That's better. So if you like this project, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Um, also, don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when we post new videos, which right now for Craftsmas, it is every day. And those videos run all the way through uh, December the 21st when we leave for Disney. Other than that, don't forget to check me out on all my social medias, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. But I think that's it, so I'll see y'all later. Bye!